Bruh. Okay, tell me, uh, uh, tell me if it's not working. Uh, tell me if it's not working. Okay, it's working. Well then, today's game is a new game which I got in the Steam sale named Cradle. I am basically blind about all of this. I only know it's a sci-fi game and that there's a waifu in, in there. And that it's open world, but apparently it's not by Ubisoft, so it can only be good. Mm. Sorry for the delay, but my pizza just took a little longer than usual. That's not true, it was actually faster than usual. Mm. Okay, well, let's get it started. What the fuck? It's not even a. Okay, it's a 64 bit game. It should work now. Hello? Yeah, there it is. There we go. Would you just love it when games are so well coded? They actually freeze. Just like that. Okay, what the hell? That loading screen was from was a different executable than the game itself. Okay, I'm having uh, some small issues with it being displayed here. 9, 20, 20, 20. there we go. Okay, give me a second. Surely it will now work. Apparently no. Yeah, now it works. Okay. So there is literally no main menu music. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to think about that. However, we yeah. have some incredible settings to look here. For example, we have the all-important quality setting, which is about as differentiated as... Um, the bias stress function. We have option 1, 2, 10. So I would say on a scale from 1 to 10, I choose um, fucking 10 out of 10. Mm, also, please be sync. That's the worst way to make sure to indicate that a box is checked. Just lighting it up. Okay, field of view, I would like to have. Why is it only from 50 to 80? Okay, let's just see that in game. Uh, there's eight, only 8 times anti aliasing. Of course, they didn't use Unreal Engine. Because otherwise, you would have 13 ti 32 times that. Mm. Oh, the music volume is off. Okay, that explains it. So let's go and hear the music for the first time. Holy fuck, it's lagging. It's lagging so hard, what the hell? Why is it lagging this hard? I have a... I have a 1060 Ti! Why is it lagging on our settings? In the 2D version! This is the main menu! What the fuck? What the actual fuck? This is... Okay, I take everything back. Quality 10 was just too high. 
if your PC can run Crisis, that doesn't mean your PC can run Cradle. It doesn't mean anything if your PC can run cr uh, Crisis. I love how it just has authors. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna re reduce the quality to say 7, perhaps then. Perhaps I, I should take a vertical synchronization. Yeah, now it works. Now it works. Can I put this back to 10? I have a feeling like it doesn't change anything. Yeah, the word, the V-Sync is just broken. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. So yeah, uh, for Yasin, who is a first time watcher on this, on this fantastic Slug stream. Wait a second. Yeah, okay, this is just the late fuck of the usual guy. Um, on the top right is a view into a chat, which I usually used to proclaim all of my streams. People from there can check in and say something to me, like insult me or play the USSR anthem. I sometimes respond, sometimes I don't. It doesn't really matter to me. Unless it's someone I actually care about. So, the only thing I know about this game is that it's sci-fi. And it's set in Mongolia. Which I think is an interesting choice, but we will see if that actually is relevant to the plot. Would you like to take tutorial? Not even a not even the articles I used. Yes, I would like tutorial. Of course, since it's sci-fi, it must be by Asimov. Because literally, the entire genre of sci-fi was invented by Asimov. Am I right, guys? Ooh. Okay, I'm thinking there's a tint on the screen. I don't know why. I think I'm going to restart the game real quick, just in case. It won't take long. Just in case. Oh, wait a second. I think I also noticed another thing. Namely... Oh, wow! Thank you, Steam! Thank you for giving me a useless inventory item for no reason. Just for starting up the game. Wow! It's just wow! Highest... Okay, yes. So my... Uh, I think this is, this is uh, better now. Should have less of a tint on it. Otherwise, no. Apparently, the tint is part of the game. Okay, it's not. Okay, it's not. Okay, it's not. Steam Classic. Oh, Unigen. Well, that explains the shittiness. So, what the fuck is this loading screen? I haven't seen this kind of shit since Portal. Well, not Portal, but that Portal mod. Or portal mail story smell or whatever it was. Unigen is like if you wanted to use Unity but could not afford it. Okay, use WASD to move around. That's uh that's a fucking revelation. Okay, mouse sensitivity, I need to set that higher. Uh, run, shift, jump, space, crouch, control. I like this. Inventory E. Hmm. Clue. 
tab, whatever. Yeah, this is this is comfortable. Hold shift to run. Press space to jump. Oh my god, this is... Okay, this is uh, interesting. That's a tutorial if I've ever seen one. Um, certain object contain text. To read text from the information stand, walk up to it and left click on the stand. Stando power. Okay. Dude, I don't... I don't need to interact with this to see what it says. What the fuck is that? I like the icon though. Re I read text. Parentheses. Pick up or put down object. Sight. Use one object of another. I like the design. Okay. Wait, what was our interaction? Left click. Okay, it's just left click. Okay, thank you. Ooh! You can crouch. Is this Half Life? Okay. Well, that was easy. Oh boy, it's the Companion Cube's uh, evil twin. Wait, the Unity is free. Are you kidding me? Well, yes, of course. You 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 want to make a profit out of it? I mean, if you're making a game, you want to make a profit out of it. Otherwise, you're just working for yourself. If they're putting a game on Steam, they need a Unity license. Yeah, it's a companion cube. Okay. Whoa, 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 holy shit. Why are there cockroaches in my room? What the fuck? I am highly concerned. I pressed E, okay. Okay, I can throw them. Wow, look at my skill. He's just throwing these cubes at me. You can use certain items on others. By holding item A, mouse of item B, and left click. It can't be used, but it fucking says it can be used. Fuck you. Yeah, that's good. Fuck you. Oh, it lighted up. It lit up. Check this. Yeah, when they get close to each other... Okay, let's just take them with me. Oops. Add the missing part to the arrangement of cubes. No space in it. Why the set inventory space in a game like this? Add the missing cube to the arrangement. Nope, it doesn't work. What do you mean? How does that not work? Oh, I need to add a red cube. Okay. Why is walking speed so slow, though? Okay. Nice. Press tab to receive a clue. Press tab again to hide it. I like the aesthetics. I like them a lot. Hello. Ooh. Look at this. New task added. What do you mean? Our story begins here. While sleeping, you see a strange and troubled dream. Follow instructions to wake up. Wait. I'm dreaming. Has this all been a dream? I'm wearing a VR headset. What? 
What am I supposed to do? Oh, 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 uh, hello. Unknown DNA data. Um, hello? Did I just enter Sword Art Online? Please know that Amy was shitty. Oh boy! Oh, that's that title screen! That was one smooth entry for ever someone. I have lots of things to say about this title logo though. Let's find your scene. I remember there being that one ending in Arkham City where you're just like I think you're playing as Catwoman and you have the option to have Batman or don't and if you just don't then the game fucking ends this would be like that Ooh. looks like I did actually play Sword Art Online Oh no, it's lagging again. Mm. Oh, fuck off. Uh, bitch. There's no coffee anymore, I swear. When did I go to fucking sleep? New task. It's my note. Yeah, it's my notes. What? Taba, I got fat. Now I smell bad. That's a, that's that's a good start. Oh boy! Turn off your nose and don't look at me. I didn't say goodbye to Ongard. I waited for him all day, but he didn't return. Please feed him and change him, lest he gets sick. Change him. Follow this recipe. Eat the red pot. Add a glass of water. Add a few cut plum olive. Plum olive fruits. Who the fuck is on God? Wait, why did my game save? Do I have any choice about this? Holy fucking... Okay, I think... Okay, why is it? Postcard with a view of the city. A sign below reads Geneva is happy to receive guests with any quotients. What? What the fuck are quotients? That sounds too mathematical to me. <laughs> What's this game made for me? Admire shitty mouth puns. Mm. Of also of which uh, uh. Mobile Transfer Instruction Manual. Before you switch on the device, I love how they always say that. Right, that's a real thing. Uh, put a finger on the, in the opening for blood sampling. Wait until the gene copying is complete. The data will be transferred automatically to our center. Remember, only people of like, HQ. Health quotient. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Hmm. Da 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 da. Job idea will run the diagnostic and start scanning your long term memory and will load your data to the transfer center. So apparently, it takes your memories and puts them somewhere. Bruh. Bruh, you want to be on stream? Bruh. Bruh. Dude, I can't understand a single thing you're saying. Wait, wait, wait a second. Okay, now it should work. Bruh. What, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, I don't answer on chat. There's echo. I can't, I can't talk to you if there's echo. There's, there's gonna be feedback. 
recognize what we're writing. Are you fucking kidding me? I do recognize what you're writing. I just don't always look at it. My phone turns off sometimes. Just chill, man. Just chill. Okay, okay, okay. I, I only want to know if you recognize it or not because you don't give a damn what you're saying, but okay. Just relax. Relax. <laughs> I swear. Put your palm on the confirmation button. Establish visual contact with the image on the lock screen. You may blink but do not look away. This is absolutely crucial. On a signal, automatic consciousness emulation will be initiated on the recipient. What? Be prepared for an unusual effect. You will see yourself from the opposite end. Don't be nervous. Keep taking deep and even breaths. On a signal, press the confirmation button. Warning. Final stage is irreversible. Be by pressing the confirmation button, you're transferred to your original's right to the recipient. Oh fuck! Okay, th so there's so there's a legal system about this as well. I guess that means you transfer your consciousness to a to a recipient, and then the original person. Or the original body, I guess, is then used, is then legally property of the other person, of the recipient. That's whack. Oh, oh boy, I can, I can smash my furniture. That's nice. Wow. Does that? Does it always? No, it doesn't always uh, land on the right side. Yeah, I need to uh, lower the settings. It's lagging like holy fuck. Okay. Um. Holy fuck. Okay. Um. Yeah. Can't use, but I can't throw it. Okay, so let's see, There, there's a tablet here, the, what the fuck, welcome to your new M body, remember the key components labeling, it's simpler, it's simple, or it's simpler, so they used David's statue as a model for your mechanical body, incredible, oh it's called a look screen and not a lock screen, wow that's whack, Everything magazine. Inextricable link it is becoming wearisome to constantly refute sensational yarns of humans living with modified genome copies. We will therefore simply offer a universal fact. Okay. The neural copy is viable only when embedded in its native inborn gene pattern. Holy fuck. Okay, this this game. Wait, it's off screen. Holy. Okay. I did not intend that to happen. Let me fix that. There we go. Much better. The neural copy is viable only when embedded in its native inborn gene pattern. Okay, so it says basically uh, only in your original body are you viable. Replacing as little as a few nucleotides in your genome copy would sever the, sever this bond. It is well documented what happens to a consciousness that becomes disconnected from its body. It's well, it's well studied, yes, but what does it do? I don't know, man. Just... What is it? Why did... Huh. Okay, what the fuck is this? Is this my bag? I'm... 
I'm gonna take the Swiss way. Stuffed peppers. Huh? August 17, 2043. Ulan Bartho, Central Pass of Culture. I know this is in uh, like 2060. Vitamin boost food, food additive for birds. Can any one of you read Mongolese? Or whatever that scripture is. Hmm. What is that? Tiny white crystals could be citric acid. Wow, this this looks worse than my kitchen and that's saying something. Bruh. Okay, yeah, okay, this looks like uh, like an actual place I can can I take the axe? Looks like a thing from Skyrim. Ooh, nice. I should probably take that with me. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's just a box. That's another copy of the Everything magazine. Minus one and a half billion. We're dying out. It's four years into the epidemic and nine billion are just down to seven and a half. Holy. What? And 30 million people had the courage to get body replacements in the past year. Syncamphacine. Help us on the way. Dear parents, taking into account current circumstances and sharing out your concern for the fates of your children, we are, we are undertaking an extraordinary measure to wrap up the clinical trials of the neurometabolic prematurely and bring the drug to market. In return for granting the manufacturer indemnity, your children will soon receive free access to the medicine. VHU. Okay, the demographic disaster. Epidemic? Okay, so apparently they all changed their bodies into... Uh, they all changed their bodies into this fucking... They all changed their bodies into uh, me me mechanical ones because there was an epidemic. That sounds like standard stuff. Ooh, there's logarithms. I love them. Can I use them? Can't be used. Fuck it. Oh. Well, the... Yeah, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna take that with me. What's that, anyway? Excellent screen, visual contact. Da da da, transferring genome copy. Liquidating donor. Okay, so it's like the the swapper in that you transfer everything to a to a new body, but it kills the original person. That's whack. Great grandma Batma. Okay, we have our usual shrine here. Family shrine. Is there anything special? Voucher for a one-time donor utilization service. Okay, but why would you do that? 20. Fuck does that mean? Is that supposed to be a flower? Do they not have real flowers anymore? Okay, let's get to the elephant in the room. Um, I'm not saying this is weird. I think it's obvious that it's weird. I mean, okay, that's not exactly the model of a robot I would want myself to be ported into. I mean, this thing can't move, so what is it good for? So is this a copy, copy thing? Uh, Grace Embalmer 2. Pretty, pretty, yeah. Ooh, holy. Okay. Um. Nope, doesn't work. So yeah. The 
fuck? Okay, it doesn't... Oh, world holy fucking... Okay, okay, I couldn't put the stuff back on. Oh, there's a power button. Oh, holy fuck. Hello? Hello? Okay, she's broken. Uh, that's uh, that's bad, of course, I guess. Uh, still, though, why does she? So, if these are pla supposed to be plants, then she has a small plant reservoir over here for some reason. This is all weird. What the fuck is this? Is this? This is just a. Oh, uh, is that a... Is that a diskette? Whatever. I'm just gonna take this with me. Huh? I have no need for this. So this is supposed to stay here, I guess. Let's see, what is this over here? Put a Passium 433, a new kid on the block of chemical elements, bringing with it both ruin and salvation. Which of Passium's components will end up ruling the world? That depends on you, superhero. Put in your cover and get to work. Collect the sweet component to replenish the rescue fund. What the fuck is that? Field game of the year returns. Okay. Okay. Grace and Balmer series. So this is a Grace and Balmer thingy? Activated. No flower in the photo. Photo copy. Okay. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Okay. Apparently, this is. These are flowers. But why? What do you? Huh? What the fuck is this? What is going on? Like, let's just go outside. Holy. Okay. Will you? Well, if this isn't looking nice, except for the socks. Wow. That's a landscape if I've ever seen one. And I can really go all to all these places? That's crazy. Okay, let me continue eating my pizza. Okay, that's a solar panel. This box is wired up. Why is it wired up? It's just a box. Oh. I can't use it. But I guess I'm supposed to... Uh, do something with it. There's no around to have you remember what happened. Prepare breakfast to onwards. Put the red spot on the furnace. But I don't want to. I want to see what the, what's around. I'm guessing this is a kind of traveling system. What a weird choice to put... To put a... Holy boy. What a weird choice to put a, a setting like this, and then it's in Mongolia, like, what? A 
Okay. This does make me feel a little uneasy. But I really want to know how this... How this thing works. Is it some kind of energy thingy that just moves you through it? Like a mass skate? Or is it just a tram thing? Oh. Were there sparks just now? <sighs> okay, I will just go back and do whatever the game says I should do. I'm liking the aesthetics though. Ooh, I can climb up. Wow. Okay, I can't break it. So sad. I like the degree of freedom I'm getting here. Usually a game wouldn't allow me to just walk up on it. Something like this. Okay, I should put the red spot on the... Wow. What am I supposed to do with this? So, what was the note? Heat the red pot. Yeah, it said spot. Okay, where's the pot? It's the red pot. It's not a red pot. Where's... Where is the one? Do I have it? No, I don't. Where can I find it? Am I stupid? I think I am. Or maybe I'm just color... It's just because I'm colorblind. Oh, there's a knife! I wonder what it says. Yeah, this is a nice adventure game. Ah! I could take the box. It's jam. Yeah, okay, this is easily the worst kitchen. Is this the one? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What did it say next? Add a glass of water. Wow! And plum olive fruits. Do you have water? Yes, it is. Wow, it uh, even has sound effects after what? Okay, uh. I can't use it. What do you mean I can't use it? I can just put it down there. No, the item doesn't work. Okay. Task added. Wow. Okay, now I have to get some plum olive fruits. This place is really nice looking, I have to admit. It's almost on par. With oblivion. Zero deal. But only almost. the lake? 
I don't see any of these trees having fruits. Oh, I'm supposed to heat it up first. What? It didn't say so on the note. Is there a way to run faster? No, there isn't. So I just have to keep pressing the two buttons. So this is kind of weird adventure game. We have to do things in a specific order, otherwise they don't make any sense apparently. I wonder at what point they thought, hey, we need to make this an open world game. I have to make, I open, have to open it first. I like the standards of this thing. How many do I have to put in there? Apparently it's pointless. It's fire starters. Okay, that should be enough. How do I light it up? Oh right, I have a lighter. And there we go. And of course, it instantly works. take the final log just in whenever I should need a logarithm I will be using it okay now I'm supposed to go there and which lake just over there but I guess what the fuck is a plum olive anyway Guess I'll see you soon. This is pretty relaxing. Red fruit on the tree? I don't see red fruit anywhere. Okay. It's there's this weird effect that the surround sound of the steps is just slightly off the position you were in. So it always sounds like someone is following you. Like now I'm walking to the right and I can hear the footsteps on the left side seriously where where would there any ever be Perhaps it's over there. Perhaps it's this one, yeah. Come on. No, apparently not. At least they are not using the speed tree engine. I don't see any fruits on these tall trees. I honestly don't. Ok, 
Okay, which one was the one... Okay, are there fruit on this tree? Tell me. Are there fruit on this tree? Okay, then. This one over here. You're saying there's fruit on this one. Oh, now I see it. Now I see it. Now I do see it. Okay. I can use the log. I can use the log. Oh, Ooh, there, are tr there are birds. Perhaps I can... Whoop. Okay, I got one. How are these? Okay, let's do that again. How many do I need? Oh, I'll just get some more. Ah, it's a little bit difficult to grab stuff. Whoops. Okay, that was not intended. There we go. There we go. Let's just take some more, just in case. Wow, okay, that was the worst, the worst thing I've ever tried. I'll just take the other ones. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, I'll just throw off another one. Hmm? No space. Oh, that's breakfast, yeah. What do I drop? Uh, uh, I will drop the lighter. No, I'm not gonna drop the lighter. I'm gonna drop the log. I think I need three. Okay, let's see. Honestly, who works in Lock 10? Literally, who? Okay, chemists. Chemists, too. Yeah, okay, engineers. But only because they don't know how to... And that because they have no reason to use a natural log. Okay, so I'm just supposed to throw these in there. Uh, add grind root and don't forget to grind it. A few cut ones, okay. So I first need the knife. Oh, f okay. I should not throw knives. I should just let them drop down exactly in that position, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna use the knife and uh, cut it. Can I cut this thing again? I can't use it. Just gonna add that. What the fuck is that fruit? Oh, please. <clears throat> Can I cut them on the ground? Yes, I can. Wow. Fuck. Okay. The controls are a little bit iffy. Okay. Let's add some more. And some more. 
And some more. Oh, I can't. Well, fantastic. I'm just gonna drop this over here. Also the can because of, oh, oh wow okay I'm glad it didn't break. Okay now we need dried roots. Do I have dried root? How do I find out which one of these is dried root? Empty matchbox. Word. Okay. Okay now, but uh, what roots? I'm sure I. I'm sure it's one of these. Can I? I mean, I do have a liquor, but nothing else. Yeah, this is exactly like Portal's Kitchen. Oh wait, it's probably this one. No, it's the Cetric Acid. I forgot. Uh, holy foy, is that a hat? Is that a Mongolese hat? Uh, I don't know the password. Yeah, I can't even type it in. Let's see... How do I grind stuff? And I just good man fermented mare's milk. Oh, okay. I'm so sure the citric acid stands for drugs. I shouldn't waste too much time on this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, wait, no, that's not the dried root that I can't interact with that. Fuck this. And there's so many boxes and coffers running around. At dried root. I do get that. I'm sure it's in there somewhere. I mean, what am I doing here? It's probably not near the shrine. Oh, wait, is that? No, it's Mongolian tea. Seriously. Interacting doesn't do anything. Man, would I grind it anyway? Does it say? Add dried root. There is something I'm missing. Can you help me? No, you can't. Seriously, where where do I? I mean, I did. It just says to add dried root. It doesn't tell me where it is. Stuffed peppers. Okay, let me check. Okay, let me interact with uh, all of these items. This is also Mongolian tea. There's nothing. Huh. 
Yeah, it's probably outside. Um, but roots of what? Square roots? Cube roots? Roots of evil? Oh, wait, there's something over there. Perhaps it's what I'm looking for. Terminal of Epistolary Correction. Mongolian Post. Okay. Let's see. Oh, what the hell? Milligrams of emotions. It has been several years since the pages of this very ma very magazine served as a forum for lively discussion of a wondrous discovery. Where a synchronizer somehow materialized a substance equivalent to emotions. It was pleasant to ponder the mysterious phenomenon. Presuming it would never leave the confines of its app. However, this phenomenon has since escaped and, by the looks of things, forced its way into our personal lives for years to come. With time we would grow accustomed to the thought that our own emotions unwittingly produce a chemical element that even yesterday was not part of the periodic table. Accustomed to the knowledge that every emotion we per experience adds a few milligrams of potassium 433 into a capsule in our hearts, in our chests. What the hell? Potassium is a real thing. What the fuck? Oh, look, there's something over there. Perhaps this is the thing I'm looking for? Grandpa. By Jean Dara. 2003 to 2012. Okay, it's not here. Yeah, honestly, if Passium is just a uh, gizmo that I use for everything, I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed. But not too much, because basically all sci-fi writers do that at some point. Substance out of nothing. A curious physical phenomenon is being observed during experience, synchronizing neurochips with DNA copies. A condensate of unknown substance has been forming inside fully airproof sections of the resonating mechanism. Data gleaned from its chemical properties is sure to send shockwaves across the scientific community. I guess this is... Hmm. I guess this is the thing. This is how it all started. Oh! Oh, here, here. Ah, okay. That all make it all makes sense now. Where do I grind it? it? Needs to be ground. Okay. Let me just get some. Get some more. I mean, sure, they're dried roots, so they need to be dried. But I didn't think they were still drying. Come on. Huh? Okay, it just keeps falling off. Now where do I grind it? How do I grind it? I can't use any of these. The crockery, what the fuck is a crockery? Oh, 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 it's over here. These are the ones. Please, please don't fall over. There we go. 
Yeah, I, I was just confused because they're so large. What now? I'm just letting fall things fall down. <laughs> and add salt, and the water will turn orange. Turn the salt jar to its place right of the pepper as Grandma Badgeen instructed. This is important. It's important because salt is sacred. Wait, that isn't salt. Wait, what? Right of the what? Right of the bad gin. Right of the pepper. Huh? Well, f thank you that it's right off the pepper, but where's the pepper? Uh, searching shit in a house that you don't know. Um, is this the. No, it's not. I can interact. Come on, where is it? Where is it? Hmm? I swear, I'm gonna eat all the salt if I find it. Wait, I can take all of my clothes out at once. I'm not gonna do that. Seriously, where is it? Ooh, there's a CD and a notebook. New lifeguard. When a normal operating mode, the lock, sc lock screen is tinged with blue. The screen's neural chip turns red in the event of a malfunction. A green tint indicates that the M body is being controlled by artificial intelligence. Okay, so you can go in, into autopilot. That's cool. But where the fuck is the salt? Where's the pepper for that matter? Where would I store the pepper if it's as important as to warrant saying that it's... Somewhere... I only have citric acid. Oh, wait. Perhaps it's over here? No, it's not. Come on, it can't be that difficult, can it? It's been shot for many years. How do you still know that but not who the fuck you are? Ooh, Grace Embalmer. To use instructions. Well, could I please know what it does? You recognize this by the sudden increase in sleep duration. At this stage, medicine is no longer effective. With these symptoms, the only method of more or less effective excreting desperatoxin is practiced by spe specialty clinics. Okay, so apparently, the backstory is. That there's some epidemic with desperatoxin, and you can get rid of it by using medicine or stuff. Patient, Bajin Dalha, my father, my grandfather. Procedure of desperatoxin excretion from body was a success. Poison levels have been reduced to 60. Repeating procedure is contraindicated. 
body replacement and relocation to a new place of residence is recommended. Oh, it's glasses. Broken glasses. Yes. Transfer and indefinite maintenance agreement. Uh, H69. Ooh, yeah! Provider 30 plus transfer center. Customer sets the date and time of the transfer independently. After the body is replaced, customer shall return rented equipment to the provider. All forms of service maintenance, including unloading of accumulated passium. Oh, because passion. Huh. The customer shall undergo exclusively at the provider's dedicated stations. The provider shall keep the customer's evasion of good hereditary. Heredity tax strictly confidential. Ooh. What does the last thing say? Luminous and Ikebanas. Android decorations. The drug is displayed using moderate toxification of desperate toxin particles. Or oh, they're talking about something, I guess. TV guide. It's the last chance for a project new beginning. Could the donor abilities of the ugly put an end to the emotional burnout of the beautiful? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that sounds bad. An interview. Lucky Devils. An interview with a trendy percent girl. What? Outsider. Taken in by an upscale couple. Okay. How participating in the donor program brings joy to members of the lower class. Okay. In the name of beauty. Should society persecute the production of pirated copies of Android decorations? Mm -hmm. Do we have the moral right to be deprive indigent citizens of the ability to decorate their abodes with illegal health quotient merchandise? Activists speak out in favor of man's inherent need to surround himself with beauty and virtue. So apparently, decorations and shit were privatized? What the hell? You, oh my god, there's so much text. I will need to read this all, but first I need... Yeah, oh gee, no matter, it's broken light to us. There was nothing special about these flowers. They all were ugly. All we did was waste perfectly good covers. Take them to the platform. Tabaha will pick them up in the morning. Okay, where... Okay, it's 26... Oh. Twenty-fourth. July, okay. But where is the salt? Free of chlorine or phosphates. Cleaning. With the fragrance of Passium's sweet isomere. Is this really not the salt? I have no need of this. Where is the salt? Is this the salt? Oh. Did I use the right thing? Okay, I'm supposed to use these, that's good. Uh, it will turn... Uh, orange. Okay, it's a color thing again. Fantastic. Something which I absolutely am qualified to say. No, that's not orange. No, that's not orange either. I shouldn't have used... 
Yeah, I thought so. Bring on God's his breakfast. Whoever on God's actually is. Hello. Just put the holy. Oh, I see. Hello there. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. first wow this is so detailed could you yeah just give me a second holy what the fuck what the fuck <laughs> um what the fuck what is going on okay it's a key to valuable information yeah, of course, there's an application to the number. It's gonna be the password. <sighs> what the... what was that? Oh, fuck. Uh, this one. Yeah, let me just... I don't know if... I don't know if... No. Uh, wait, was it? Oh, come on. 2053. Okay, let's go to re get to get to reading. Okay. I've got a journal now. Thanks, Tabaha. My name is Enebish. I've always lived here because I can't go anywhere else. Grandpa Bajin says lots of people used to live around here, but they all died when the dome blew up. The area has been deserted ever since, aside from myself, Bajin and Ongots. But who's Tabaha? Is that the is that the girl? Ongots has got very powerful claws. He obeyed my father and helped him hunt hares. I don't remember my parents. They died in the explosion as well. When the wind picks up, it gets pretty chilly. You can find refuge from it, but not for long. You can't last long without light. That's why I crafted this transparent layered west. Best, like in that program about greenhouses. It keeps Ongots warm during the day, and when the night's chill arrives, I put him into another warm west. I collect and digitize flowers. I look for the prettiest ones and make photocopies of them. Tabaha takes them into a town and sells them. The earnings keep him afloat, while Grandpa and I buy cheese. Okay, Tabaha is a guy. We've got a new genometer. We've got a new genometer. It measures everything. Flowers, insects, people. It clocked at, uh, it clocked Beijing at 47. And the tree at the gate by four, at 24. Even the stool got measured, though that took a little longer. But when aimed at Ongots or myself, it still shows the same old error. Grandpa says it's all providence. Maybe he's right. 
Providence. Yasin, stop being so edgy, I swear to God. Just buy yourself a, set of warm vests. I don't, I don't care. I don't want edginess. Maybe he's right. I first dream sometimes. I'm in a strange city. The day is waning. Folks are walking into the distance. There's somebody beside me, but I don't see who. The dream is fleeting, always leaving me with a strange bit sensation. Like I'm supposed to pass someone, something to someone, but I can never remember. What or to whom? I feel some kind of mix of anxiety or chagrin. And it makes me want to go there, but go there to that town. Grandpa Bajin has died. He wanted to do a transfer after losing his sight and mobility. Tabaha even brought him the equipment, but Grandpa died in his sleep. He was buried at the spot he had requested. Tomorrow marks the four year anniversary of Grandpa's funeral. Which means I'm already 23. Ooh. Everything is still the same. I tried leaving again, but no dice. I simply lose consciousness. Like before. Oh! Okay, that's weird. I want to find that town for my dream. Perhaps I'll risk it and do a transfer. Grandpa's got new use for his helmet these days, but I might. If I get lucky, I'll wake up in a new body in Ulaanbaatar. Too bad the genometer won't show my number. I know how dangerous it is. Honestly, Yasin, I can't say I've been in that situation. Because I was one of the kids with the warm vests, I will admit that. But I I uh, sympathize with your with your sad story. When I look at, at the poster over my bed, for some reason I remember my toys. When I was a kid, maybe five or so, I had a favorite toy, an odd little space case. Ongots had found it somewhere and brought it to me. Then I saw dark squirrels in the field, but scared and stashed the toys away for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I can never understand you, sure. You just... That that fills another edgy criterion. <gasps> people, people can't understand me. When I saw... Then I saw dark squirrels in the field, got scared and set the toys away for some reason. And to make sure I didn't forget the hiding place, I came up with a clue. Come out of the yurt and fly straight as the crow. On a rock with a snag, look for an arrow. A sorrowful tree will show you the way. A box in the sand will a mystery betray. But now I can't find it. <laughs> okay, that's pretty, um, that's pretty decisive. So apparently, my let's assume that I'm the one who this, whom this journal belongs to. Oh! Oh! Of course! The transfer has already happened. The transfer has already happened, and I'm the guy from Ulaanbaatar who got their body switched. But wait, it doesn't, it doesn't do switching, does it? It just does transfers, because we're all in mechanical bodies. At least that's the most likely thing. Uh, okay, I need to find a, a rock with an arrow on it. With a snag? What's a snag? Oh really? What's a snack? <laughs> Fly straight as the crow.
I would guess I'm already past it, but perhaps it's over here. It's kind of weird. Perhaps it's over there. Oh, I do enjoy the landscape, don't get me wrong. It's peaceful and calming. Okay, perhaps I just missed it. It's str I'm s I gotta go straight out of the cave. What's a snag? What's a rock with a snag? Let me just look that up. E. Define snag. A sharp protuberance. A dead tree that is still standing. Okay. An opening made forcibly as by pulling it. Okay, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so it's either one of those. Or an arrow. So I guess it's this one? Hmm. Or perhaps not? Oh, perhaps this one. Come on. Yes, there it is. An arrow, okay. A sorrowful tree will show you the way. Okay. Okay, man, I, I, I believe you. I think that was very wholesome of you. Okay, I think I know where it is. Yeah, this this looks pretty obvious. Yep, there it is. What's that? Oh, it's a bear. Okay. The glass ball, it's cold and heavy. Is this a... What the fuck is that? The case, the same as on the poster. Chewing gum insert. Mongolian comic book. A hero slays a dragon. Mini calendar for 258. Sky rings. The construction has begun. 
Oh, I guess those are the rings over there. Treasure trove of sweets and a summon of candy. Yeah, that sounds like a thing a kid would do. Okay, so... Holy! Look at this! It's literally just a tram. Holy boy, that's cool. Okay, I'm kind of intrigued now. This game is pretty good. Hmm. I think I'll stream those tomorrow as well. I need to see more of this. But first, I will finally get to talk to this uh, robot. How do I connect the thing? Uh, hello. Okay, I need to insert this into her head. Is this literally a process? Oh! Okay, it's missing some parts. Does she work now? Main part, your favorite toy was a processing device. There are two more parts in the yard. Use them to repair the woman. The synchronizer. I think I do have one of them. No. No, that's just, that's just trash. Holy fuck, okay, no. Synchronizer. Okay, that's for her lungs, but... Fuck is the synchronizer? Do I have to check it? On the yellow table. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Is this thing t still going? Apparently so. The synchronizer. Those are flowers. What prestige? What are you going on about? I've got the same HQ as you. I'm also one third your price, so that even uglies can afford me. Times have changed, Grandpa. He says any moron can copy DNA. How can you prove that your genocopy was constructed from the original and isn't just one of thousands of replicas? Your cover shows polyethylene fake in the face of the original flower. There's no label of authenticity, so be happy you're still in a base. Wait, what? They're impl- Oh my god! They're implanting their DNA into flowers? And that's why they're trading them? That's whack! That's really whack. We are one half, one and a half kilometers outside the contamination sphere, crossing the outer perimeter. The toxin is low here. The risk of damage to the nervous system negligible. Rank to the other center. 
140 meters to the sphere border, warning signs are everywhere. Beyond this point, the exposure rises sharply. In inside the marked perimeter, the nervous system ceases operation. We are minutes away from slipping into unconsciousness. 40 meters to the sphere border. We have made it into the deadly frontier. We are looking at a tall enclosure. We are not going to go any further. Only mechanical equipment is capable of functioning inside the sealed off area. Zero meters. The lens of a scouting drone is right at the border to the contamination sphere, marked by a grey tinge in the earth. The area on the other side is hardly resurged and remains inaccessible even for machinery. Many mystery is hidden inside the sphere, what are amorphous dots rising from the ground along the border. What is the cause of the sphere's ostensibly arbitrary effect on the organic human body, which disintegrates at twice the rate of all other creatures? And of course, what's happening at the center of the sphere? We know next to nothing about the processes transpiring at the epicenter of desperate toxin emission. There is but one claim we can confidently make, that space operates under unique physical properties. Thus far we've observed inconceivable phenomena such as microwave radiation vanishing, what? Pushing us to consider truly fantastical theories. One such theory is that a radio signal sent out to the epicenter doesn't just vanish, it travels through time. Holy boy! Ah! What is a synchronizer? Okay, apparently the newer chip Thing was there before the desperate toxin came in. For the greater good of exposing her poor hereditary assistance, heredity assistance, a group of ugly people publi publicly effaced expressed their gratitude to society for its care and tolerance. For being put to sleep, they made known their desire to ex visit an exhibition of HQ achievements. What the hell did this paragraph just makes no sense to me? Speaking at the press center of public rescue fund, the group stated their admiration and respect for the citizens' commitment to serving exalted values. Each member of the ugly collective will be granted free entrance to the beauty exhibit as well as a personalized luxury for you to copy. The fuck is all that going on? Oh my goodness. 70 and up festive concert. Okay, so I... There, there is so much going on. There is so much going on here. Sixty six red over seventy one red exactly eighty. We go after seven. Hmm. Okay, there's just ah. Oh. There's so much stuff going on. I really don't know what to do. Uh. Is this a synchronizer? Is uh, on button is jammed. I can't press it. Okay, that's just the TV, isn't it? Can I uh, seriously? What is what is?
I supposed to look in here? I have a full and bath for Seriously, what is a synchronizer? Oh! Oh, 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 okay, here it explains that. Fantastic, that's good game design, it's just somewhere else. Okay, it's the heart. It's the heart. It looks like this. Okay. It said something about a yellow table. No reason why the wedge should be in a shrine. It said yellow table, didn't it? It said that, right? Can't be that difficult. Huh? It's music. What could it be? He didn't even finish his meal. Okay, that was scary. I guess that what that's what it said about uh, the anchor two synchronizer reduces the duration of panic attacks. That's three seconds of normal life instead of three infinitely se long seconds of swampy horror. Okay, I think I just tortured her. That's nice. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And let's open her chest. And put that right in. That should work, right? Okay, what does the container look like? Container. Okay, that's just the thing on here. Which also goes into the chest. What else? Battery. Okay, apparently it works now. She, apparently she works now. Though I don't see why. Does she? Does she have a breath module? 
and a battery, I don't think she does. Okay. Then it's time, I guess. I wonder what that design is, though. Okay, this this entire thing is just so weird. Like, why why does she have this kind of body? That she can't move. In any case, we'll find out now. Hoping that she can actually talk. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, just just wake up. Take your time. <laughs> I love that opener. Hi. Hi. Wait, it's voice acted. It's voice acted! Boy, this is some quality game. Holy boy. Hey. Can you hear me? Where am I? Oh. Somewhere in Mongolia, in some yurt. What happened to him? I don't know. I don't remember anything either. Was it you who switched me on? Yes. Are you a Morga? I don't know. But I doubt it. Where did you get my neuro chip? I found it in a cache underground. What cache? A long time ago, I hid a cache of toys in the ground. You were playing with my neuro chip and then buried it in the ground? Looks that way, but I don't remember any of it. My name is Enavish, I think. And you are? What do you want? I want to know what's going on here. You're not a Mocha. <laughs> I'm Mongolian. <laughs> Are you a mulger? No, I'm Mongolian. What the fuck? That's an actually interesting idea to implement. Facial emotions onto humanoid robots. Just give them a screen. I don't know what a mulger is. Can you explain? Someone who kidnaps people and sells their substance. What substance? I don't understand. My name is Eva. And I understand even less than you do. I do not recognize this body. There's something wrong with it. I can't see anything and I don't feel my legs. What's wrong with my legs? They're, um... They're, um, fused together. Kind of like a vase. What? <laughs> oh my god, that's the best line I've ever seen. Take that out of context, please. <laughs> I need to take a screenshot of that real quick, honestly. Just that's just that's just too good. Okay, I'm going forward screen again. Hmm. 
You've got a flat. You've got a flower vase where your legs should be. That's ridiculous. I'm scared. Calm down, Eden. Tell me, are you a robot? I'm a human being in an artificial body. Okay, it's actually showing that. That's good. You mean you've had your body replaced? Half of humanity had their bodies replaced. Where did you get my neurochip? Had a. I've just found it in an old cache. Ida, I've just now Ida. found it in an old cache. The cache you made when you were a child. Yes, if my journal. Is. Yes, if my journal is to be trusted. How could my neurochip have ended up in the hands of a child? Hongots brought it. My father's trained golden eagle. Hongots brought it. My father's trained golden eagle. I don't know where he had found it. How long ago was that? Long, eighteen years ago. Listen, Anibish. I feel ill at ease here and scared. I want to remember who I am and return home. Please help me. I want the same thing. How can I help? You need to call the evacuators. They'll come and take me away. I've been trying to send a request, but it's useless. My marker isn't answering. What marker? The authenticity marker. Okay. It's like my passport. It's got all my personal data. All requests must be accompanied by data from the marker, but it appears to be broken. So what do we do? I don't know. We might be able to use my neurocopy number, but I don't remember it. I remember almost nothing about myself. Just like me. Well, at least you're in your home. You know about your childhood, your family. I'm not sure if I'm home. I don't know this place. Oh, it's strange. Boy. Listen, why don't you start asking me questions? Anything you wish to know. Maybe that will help sort my memories. Maybe I'll even remember the number. Are you all right? I feel. Something is wrong with this body. I can't figure out what, but we need to hurry. Tell me about artificial bodies. About bodies? <laughs> All right. They are called M bodies. Hold on. Um, why are, okay, why so it's it's bodies? giving out all the info now. Because of the epidemic, there was a virus that spread across the globe, a sterility virus. They couldn't fight it, so they developed this. Body replacement program, transferring consciousness from a regular body into a mechanical one. Kind of like a personal refuge. Right, a temporary refuge. People use it to hide from decrepitude. Once the virus is cured, we'll be able to return to our regular bodies. The virus could be gone by now. It's been years. I don't know. It was just so. No treatment worked. Not antibiotics. Nothing. There was only one substance capable of destroying the virus, passium. But the accumulation process was extremely slow. Okay. How was it accumulated? It was extracted from people themselves. Human beings produced it with their nervous system. Nervous system. I don't get it. Well, passium can only be extracted from emotions. Whenever you experience an emotion, any emotion, your M body manufactures a little bit of the substance. That's some fucking bullshit right there. But okay, I believe you. A substance produced by emotions? Yes. Emotions were the only thing capable of making a remedy against the virus. Oh! As a result, passium skyrocketed in value. Far surpassing everything else, and every person, they became. Everybody became a source of value. Yes, although there were people whose substance was considered more valuable than that of others. Who were those people? People that were special somehow. They had something. They were greatly respected, but I can't remember. I think I figured out what's wrong with me. I can't breathe. You can't breathe. 
You need oxygen? You need oxygen? I simply need to inhale air. It's been inherited from my former body. A reflex. I can't get rid of it. All M bodies have a special module built in for this very purpose. It imitates breathing. That's crazy. That's crazy. But it makes so much sense. If you transfer your consciousness, you transfer how your brain works, and your brain wants to wants to breathe, so of course you need something in your body that allows you to breathe, otherwise you will go crazy. That makes so much sense, holy fuck, this game is great. Can I help you somehow? I need a breathing module. Could you find it for me? <laughs> Where do I look? We're in the middle of the step. The step and nothing else? Describe for me what's around here. The river? The river. Some abandoned complex. What kind of complex? A big dome with multicolored sails. Hold on. Yes, I see it. I've got access to it. The Gerbera Garden. Enabish, I remember this name. I used to have a connection to this place. I think that it's an amusement park. It looks the part. Them body parts were stored there, in the pavilions. It should definitely have a breathing module. Body parts in a children's park? <laughs> they were once used in a show, but I don't remember exactly how. All right, I'll try. All right, I'll try. Find the seventh pavilion. I'll try to find the password to the file database. It may contain my data. If I remember anything, I'll contact you. Uh, help me on... Help me understand something. What's that? Okay. Okay, which one should I ask? Which one should I ask? Should I ask Neurochip or how they... How it passed him? Okay, Neurochip. What's a Neurochip? A consciousness carrier. When a body gets replaced, the subject's nervous system is copied to the Neurochip. There it lives and develops, just like in the former body, or close enough to it. For one thing, there used to be no need to reboot yourself. What do you mean? Reboot? Sometimes the neurochip needs rebooting to clear the errors that accumulate. I don't really know much about it. Essentially, if too many errors pile up, it starts to disrupt your thinking. You start feeling out of it. That's when the neurochip should be switched off and back on. I call that a reboot, and it is a highly, highly unpleasant procedure. What do you mean by... What do you mean by disrupted thinking? Yeah, well, it's basically sleep. It's distorted, for instance. You start mumbling as if you're delirious. It's, it's basically you sleep. Your motor functions can be affected. It varies. It's, that's called sleep. Got it. Hold it. Oh, okay. Game saved. Nice. I need to reboot real quick because I got this green tint on it again. So I'll be right back into it. Apparently that happens when you reboot the game. When no, not when you reboot, but when you get Yeah, okay, that was unironically not intended at all, but yeah. Okay. The game is still super slow. The main menu. I'll be right back in a second. Just getting some more water.
Alrighty. Back on track. Um, wait. Okay. It's lagging again. Why though? Okay, I'm gonna reduce it to uh, seven. That helps anything? It doesn't really help. What are those an anyway? Kanga Research Station. The standard handle transfer methods transfer shorter memory from donor to recipient. Three times effective. Da 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 da. Blunt the feeling of attachment to the donor. It's recommended to nullify the recipient's short term memory immediately after transfer. I'm wondering about one thing. I woke up on the floor with this thing on, right? So I should be in a mechanical body myself, right? Because I got transferred. That's the thing that happened in the tutorial. In any case. Ida. Did you bring the module? Help me understand something. Help me understand something. What's that? Okay, can you tell me uh, how how the fuck you can create emo a substance from emotions. How is it that emotions produce a substance? Technically, it's not emotions that produce it, but a synchronizer. Now, what is it? And what does it synchronize? Your consciousness with your DNA. Ah. It maintains a link between your nervous system and gene pattern. Thus, whenever you experience an emotion, doesn't matter which one, it generates something like a byproduct. That is the substance in question. Passing. That actually gives so much more depth to the simple concept of just having artificial bodies. Because, in a sense, our consciousness is linked to our body and our genetic code. And basically everything that makes us, us. So you can't just simply put a consciousness into something else. With, without breaking something. So I guess the developers of the story just wanted to remedy this kind of issue a little bit. Which makes a lot of sense, and I admire that. Okay. Why is the need... Why okay. the need for DNA yeah, in a here mechanical we go. body? The consciousness cannot survive without the DNA. It perishes. That's an interesting idea. How does it perish? And why? As to why, I do not know. Nobody does. Your neurocopy crumbles and you die in a fit of panic. You shake with terror for several minutes, then slip into a coma. Coma? That's whack. Death, really. The neurocopy cannot be restored. Got it. Who closed the door? And... Oh, it reset everything! It reset everything. Hmm. Okay... I need to check something really quick. Okay, now it works. Now the performance is better. I just had to close the Steam recommended window. I have a question. She, she said that she'd let me know if she found something out. How, did, how, how would she do that? Okay, this is the desperate toxin thing. Which we read about it before. All of this is contaminated. Whoop! What? 
Oh yes. Ah, that was the most epic jump. Okay, that was that wasn't epic at all. Let's see. Yes, it's an amusement park, I know. I mean, for a game like this, it really doesn't make any sense to store everything. But see, Elder Scrolls does it. Okay, how do I get in now? Ooh, that's the warning sign for desperate toxin. Interesting. Uh, this is large. Seriously, how do I get in? Is that a screen? I have a question. Who builds an amusement park in the fucking step? Huh? Polar Research Station. Institute of Relic Neuro... Neurofield Neurofield Wait a second Okay, there are lots of people here People, 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 but there are also some androids Also, all of these people look really, really similar I wonder if that's a plot point. Yeah, I mean the warning sign didn't really look like a si warning. Especially, it's a it's a bad sign because it ha contains a letter, and if you can't see that it's that that's a D, you wouldn't know that it stands for desperate toxin. How did I actually get those three viewers just now? I really like the graphics. It's like. Um, the Telos Principle almost. The music also reminds me of that game. I really want to play that again. I swear, where is... There must be some way to get in there, right? Right? I mean, of course it's closed off because you shouldn't enter it. I get that. So there's not gonna be an open entrance. But there has to be something. I mean, these things usually have some maintenance. Uh, some maintenance entrance. I have in my inventory. I have nothing in my inventory. Okay, that's a little complicated. What is that? Holy fuck, what the fuck is that?
हो आई डिड नॉट एक्सपेक्ट दैट टू डू एनीथिंग take this with me and just in case holy boy what what was that okay now it's going into the supernatural nothing on all of these flyers said something about sentient black clouds Seriously. there must be some way to get in there right hmm Wow, really? Really, I went all around this place just for there to be some kind of wacky entrance which just so happens to lead inside. Okay, someone constructed this, but still. How do I get out anyway? Are you sure they're not sentient? I heard voices when I was next to them. Enemish, I remembered who those people were. The ones whose passing was regarded as more valuable. It was their genes that made them special. Their DNA had fewer errors. In other words, these were people with good heredity. Such people produce a special kind of passion, which contains a valuable component. It was this component that was needed to fight the virus and not the whole substance. That was why they commanded such respect. Humanity's struggle against the virus hinged on them. Back then, everybody used to say that the emotions of beautiful people were our salvation. Okay, I guess. That's somewhat wacky. I think it was good to uh, take this stick with me. Also, apparently, there are these cubes yet again. I guess the tutorial was useful after all. And those black things are somewhat aggressive. So, let's see. What do we have here? Holy fuck. Um... I'm just saying, this looks pretty whack. It's, it's those flowers. Can I do something with them? This is whack. Oh, perhaps that's what they said about uh, going back in time. Okay, now that looks like something we can use. Yeah, that's a power cable. Just have to plug it in somewhere. But where? Ok, 
it's pretty short so ah okay probably goes over here somewhere Now oh, let's drop it for now. Oh, no, no, that's not a plug. So what is this? It doesn't just open. Sad. Ah, uh, where's the stick? Where's the stick? Stick boy, please don't leave me. You're my only hope in this world of darkness. Holy, what the f what the f Oh, whoa, 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 put me back down, please. Whoa! Holy fucking what? You're at the location. the weirdest amusement park I've ever seen. This reminds me of ancient... Uh... Okay. Is this an elevator? Fuck is going on? What just happened? What the? What the fuck? Is this a mini game? What the fuck? There's mini games in this? What? 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 Okay, uh, I can get the lungs if I. Collect 30 blue, cru 30 blue cubes. Her cubes into the uprising stream. Hold the right mouse button while throwing to make a burst of cubes. Don't fall into water. That reduces your scores. What? Make use of the uprising stream to lift yourself. Create platforms. Valuable cubes are hidden inside those. What? The hell? Huh? What is going on? Apply cube blue cube to a white one to create a platform. Right click to delete the cubes blocking your way. What the fuck? Am I supposed to jump? Endless sand. Oh! I get it, because this is an amusement park. Okay. Where do I jump? This looks like a good spot. YOLO! Okay, it worked. No, no, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. No! Get back, oh fuck. Okay, so th there's a down rising stream and there's an up rising stream. That 
в офисе. Okay, to build a platform, take a blue one. Wow, no, please. And holy boy. Leave me alone! No, leave me alone. Okay, there has to be another one. That's the uprising stream. I get, I get, I get the game, but this is. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, please, please, please. Uh... I just need the blue cubes, right? Right? Okay, that lowered my score. No, let me let me get back up to the top. Oh, come on, come on. Why did it not get me back to the top? Come on, there we go. No! Oh fuck! Okay, is there any more stuff? No! Fuck! Okay, um... Need to build more stuff.
Oh, it created another one. They probably just thought, hey, let's make some wacky ass game modes to complement this wacky ass game. And holy fuck, they succeeded. I've never seen a game like this. So ad hoc. Okay. Oh, you can throw the blocks. Works. Can I throw anything? Okay, no. So I do need a blue one. an interesting game. Ah, uh, no. Leave me alone. Where are the other ones? No, fuck off. Fuck you. Okay, it worked. You can kill them with the regular ones. Come on, where's the rest? I need some more! No, stay! No! Oh! Oh fuck. Okay. No! 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 No, oh, come on. Uh, 
Nice. Can I even do it? Yeah, there's more up there. Oh! Oh, jumping into them yourself also works. Ah! No! Is this Minecraft? Wait, wow, you know what's interesting? You can... If you can make yourself faster during a jump. As if that made any sense. I don't think I can do it. This is such a whack game. Holy boy. Okay, I'm slowly losing. Slowly losing my possibilities here. Because I don't need as many anymore. No! <laughs> oh! God damn it! I think now I can't do it anymore. If you've ever seen my head in time stream, you know that I'm bad at this. Oh! 
No, I jumped, I jumped, I jumped. No! Okay, I can't do it anymore. I don't think I can actually reset. Yeah, let me just try to reload. Yeah, let's try that. Always have two blue ones. Did I miss any on the top? Yes, there's a Okay, now it's gonna pull all of these in. Nice. Fuck off. It's slowly turning into a portal as well. At least, at least language wise. Okay, I think I got all on this level. Another one. There we go. No, I lost it. down already that's what she said
Bruh. Bruh! Nice chip tune. Come on, there must be another blue one. There, and this one I can use to create a platform. And within that, I can create another platform. you touch me or my blue cubes ever again. Fuck off. Whew. Don't get so close to me, holy fuck. You're scaring me. Just one more. Oh! That was it. There we go. Well, that was a fun little game, I have to say. It was quite enjoyable. I mean, it probably wasn't as fun to watch, but it was fun playing. Okay, that was the weirdest way of getting this object I've ever heard. Like, what the fuck? Doesn't make any sense. Okay, let, then let's go. Whoosh! Woo! That was fun. I don't know whether this would be useful, but there were people that were dubbed outsiders. For whatever reason, they sought to spread the sterility virus. They were the reason the virus became a global scourge. But how they did it, or why, that I do not remember. Okay. So she does explain the plot in part. Holy... I see, that was the play. That was what they used this stuff for. Alrighty. 
I guess all of these amusement park things will become a game for us. Also, apparently it's day now, so we have spent, have spent the entire morning in this thing. Okay, but that's the biggest question now. How do I get out? Perhaps the thing I wanted to go into wasn't all that wrong? Let me stash that for now. This place is eerie. Okay, what buttons do I press? This thing has been, hasn't been used in ages. But where do I get into this? Institute of Relic Neurofield. Alternative transfer booth. Oh, so this has been used for neurotransfers as well. on the right track. It's forming again. Oh! I will need this one. Perhaps I can use another one of these to get me up. Beam me up, Scotty. <sighs> Beam me up. Beam me up, Scotty. Woo. Stock height sound effect. Check. Wow. What? Interesting. It does make you black out, but you just wake up. You just wake up right back it in. Perhaps I am supposed to do some platforming here. Let's see if my platforming skills from ahead in time have, will come in handy. Is the 
is the one that works. I mean, I'm not... N no one ever questions how these things work. In these types of stories. Right. We don't care about these types of details. We only care about the meaty, grindy stuff. Yeah, since it's platforming, that's probably the right way. Is it? Hmm. Apparently not. Well, that sucks. What a waste of time. so slowly if I do stuff like this oh, what's that okay there must be a way out yes of course I need to use one of the balloons to fly out of here. That makes sense, and that would be cool. First, I need to get back to the beginning, the entrance. What? This thing actually works? Holy boy in heaven! What the... What the fuck? Okay, I should probably get off of this... Oh Boy, oh boy If that ain't cool I like this game. It has style. Also, apparently, there's some arrow with the skybox. That's a glitch. Or there's structure there, and that would make me very uncomfortable. So. Hello, Ida. I have something for you. Okay. Did you bring the module? Yes. Wait, what? I do edit. 
not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I love how she just says nothing. Okay, now. Did you bring the module? Yes. How do I install it? There should be a pipe inside the chest. A trachea. The air passes through it, so you need to connect the module to it somehow. All right. Okay. Okay. I can stash that in. All right. Let me. And put the chest back on. What do you mean? Thank you. Don't mention it. Finally, I'm breathing. Yeah, she seems better now. How goes your search? Did you find the password? Not yet. But I did remember a bit about myself. I used to work here at the Gobera Garden as a teacher, I think. I remember okay. kids being brought here to watch a show. They would then play in the pavilions, carry body parts from there, and pile them up by the stage for some reason. Hmm? What an odd amusement park to build. Strange indeed that it was built here. There's something I don't understand. You said it was abandoned, but it's still operating. It's got power. Why wasn't it taken down? There was an explosion. It's full of some poison. Do you remember anything about that? Um, I think I know what it was that exploded there. Disparatoxin. What's that? That's the substance from which the virus came into being. The epidemic began after one such explosion. One? You mean there were other explosions? Several hundred, all across the globe. Hmm. Who carried out the explosions? Remember I was telling you about the outsiders? The explosions were their handiwork. Were they terrorists? What was their goal? No goal to speak of. They weren't even doing it on purpose, really. Simply, sometimes their passium capsules would explode in their chests, spontaneously. Wow. The emotions generated substance was the cause. What was wrong with it? It had a dangerous component, bitter passium. Bitter passion. It's a kind of dark liquid which may suddenly turn poisonous and explode. Those people were carrying a bomb in their chests. It wasn't their intention to massacre thousands of people and strip the entire race of the ability to procreate. Oh, okay. that's what happened. Okay. But how are they different from the others? Genetic defects. The more defects in the DNA, the more bitter the passing becomes. Outsiders were at once pitied and feared. Nobody wanted to live next to a time bomb. Many outsiders left their hometowns. They didn't want to cause anyone trouble. So that's why they were called outsiders. They were called all sorts of things, including lower class and ugly people. I still remember the slogan. Protect society from the emotions of ugly people. What an unexpected problem for society. But not the only problem. Living in an M-body requires fuel, and fuel can only be obtained in exchange for sweet passion. Provided you have it, which the outsiders did not. They were unwitting spongers. Spongers? They were issued poor heredity assistance from the Public Rescue Fund. The fund was founded and sustained by a special tax that was levied on all the citizens. First and foremost, on the beautiful elite. A lion's share of the reserves went towards supporting ugly people. Thus, they became a constant headache, not only spreading the virus, but also draining the rescue fund. Those ugly, poisonous spongers. It was their emotions that were poisonous. Uglies are dangerous merely by living and feeling, in that they deprive the rest of any hope of returning to the way things were. I remember all the heated debates, the frantic search for a solution. Okay. And did they find it? Yes, I think so. The committee proposed a hibernation program, putting the uglies to sleep. Come again? What kind of... Sleep? Euthanization. Deactivation. A voluntary shutdown. A temporary one until the virus is destroyed. And many of them agreed, realizing it was the best option they had. 
I don't know whether it helped or... Hold on. What? The password. I think I got the right one. Yes, I'm in. I see the files. Trying to find info on the employees. It should have my data as well. You've got strange eyesight. Why is that? You see virtual files. I wouldn't refuse regular eyesight either. It's all dark, but I can't figure out what's broken. The screen on your face. It's broken. It's called a look screen. And yes, it's damaged. Might there be a working one at the Gabera Garden? There probably is, but it won't recover my sight. Something is up with my lens, and the garden wouldn't have those. Nor do I know where to find them. I suppose I'll look for a lens then. Where? In the field? There's nobody around. <laughs> what was that? Don't know. I'll go check it out. Nice. Holy fuck. It's waiting. Boy, 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 boy. Wait for me. Wait for me. Hello. Who the fuck? Oh, you look suspicious. What is that thing in the background? I know what you're doing. Well, where'd you disappear to? Listen, I found out how much they're paying. It's good money. Very good, actually. I'm going tomorrow. The procedure is simple. No pain and almost no damage. Sure, your brain is a little worse for wear whether a patient recovers, but a job's a job, right? I might even quit the whole flower collecting business. But all that's still just castles in the sky. In the meantime, we've got phytocopies to sell. I got an order for you, so listen up. Two red, 70 at the least, one orange, Sorry, I don't know what that means. Who are you? Enabish, I ain't got time to spare, so why are you wasting it? Tabaha is gonna get fired. I don't want to go back to getting shut down for 20 days in a month span. I lost my memory, Tabaha. What are Fido copies? If this is a joke, it's a real dumb one. Tell me what Fido copies are. And why we sell them? Cut the crap. What do you mean, why sell them? Because people buy them. HQ goods are valuable. Somebody beautiful can license a copy of their DNA and sell it, which can then be used to make all sorts of stuff. Androids, flower vases, like the one on your table. As for you and I, we digitize flowers. Make them into vital copies and sell them. Understand? People like seeing a high number on the display. Beautiful things are always valued. I'm not sure I get I get that. Wait, so your score so thirty two is your HQ, your health quotient. Somebody beautiful can license a copy of the DNA and sell it. Okay. Why would you use why 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 would you sell flower tables? I don't get basis. I don't fucking get it. It's for you and I. We digitize flowers. Take you into file copies and sell them. Okay, fine, Tabaha. So you want me to pick? Fine, Tabaha. So you want me to pick some flowers? No, damn it, not pick some flowers. If you go and pick the first flowers you see, feel free to stuff them right up your nostrils. Who's gonna buy those? What I need is the prettiest flowers you can find. <laughs> I I'm not really an expert on aesthetics. I'm not really an expert on aesthetics. Amazingly, today you're even weirder than usual. Look, you take the genometer, go up to the flowers and measure their beauty. 
I need two red Gaberas with a 70 HQ or higher, no lower. One orange, 80 or higher, and one yellow, 90 or higher. Make sure to measure only fully open flowers, else the phytocopier will jam up and cleaning it is a pain. Aim at the center of the flower, lest it close up before you're done measuring. Once picked, digitize it with the phytocopier, then pack everything. Back into what? Back into what? Same as always, into a box of covers. All right, that sounds doable. I'll be back in three hours. What do you want for the job? Want me to bring back food? I need a lens for a female embody. A lens won't help that base of yours. It was already barely functioning when your late grandfather bought it up in buying Hangor. Ain't nothing you can do. It's a cheap, pirated copy. Let it go. It's been gathering dust for years, so let it. Bring me the lens, Tabaha. Fine, I'll bring it. But I want you to know that you're slowly losing your marbles out here. You should move to the city. I'll be sure to do that. Just one more question. Shoot. What is that number on your chest? What does it mean? Ha! <laughs> Good one. Seriously, I didn't see it coming. All right, I'm off. Tons to do and the weather is getting nasty. Get yourself a hat. A warm one, made of fur. Know what I'm talking about? The timing. Comedic timing, wow. This is a really good game. Like, wow. Okay, I have to find uh, flowers. Do I have the genometer? I think that's the one thing on the, on the desk. Also, don't also Tabaha or whoever you are. Don't tell me. Don't tell me anything. Ida is beautiful, and you can't tell me and tell me shit. Look at her, and her HQ score is 74. Mine is probably like 10. So where do I find flowers? I could just ask her, don't I? So, about the lens. So, about the lens. I already know. I heard your conversation. A lens in exchange for flowers. How did you hear that? Can we just say that she has a high IQ? <laughs> Honestly, that's just perfect. It's an odd old man. He's an odd old man. Fussy in matters of beauty. Don't forget to take the device he mentioned with you. Genometer? I don't even know what that is. If I understood correctly, that's the heredity gauge. You can use it to find flowers with the purest DNA. Very well. I'll figure it out. There's one thing I have a problem with here, namely that they act like... Okay. They act like it's possible for something to just have genetic defects and there's some kind of purity. But it doesn't work like that. You can't just say something is a genetic defect. That doesn't make any sense by itself. How do you know something is a defect and not just a part of the genome? Let's see, where could I find those flowers? Yeah, you can have a genetic illness, but... 
how do you know that a plant has a certain amount of you can't build a gene generic thing that tells you whether something has a genetic defect or not so where do I get those flowers I guess it's from over there Personal heredity quotient. Heredity. Everybody's got one, yourself included. It represents the degree of purity of your DNA. In other words, it's your value to society. Uh, red Jiberas. How is this not fully open? Okay then. Those are not fully open. Oh, oh, those ones. No. They do look fully open. Nice ones. No. Check. I have to find two red jabberas. Two red ones. Those are all closed. Oh fuck. It's not fully open. Apparently closed. I can uh, go to that one place again. Okay. I mean, it's only half past eleven. That's fine. I just want to see if I can score these ones. Error. be some trick to it. Can't just be that there are no open flowers. Right? Right? I 
can't be that. None of these work. No. Oh! I see now. Okay, I see. So there's special ones. Copper. Copper made. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll uh, collect the flowers and then probably stop for tonight. Thanks for watching. This is a good game I want to continue. Ninety-four. I'm picking this one. Let's see red ones with seventy or higher. What about this one? No fuck. Damn it! one with 70 or higher okay perhaps this one
just need a red one. getting taken. Nope. Then one of these. Got it.
know, I was you know, I was thinking. I can ask Tabaha to help you with the evacuation. No, Anabish. That's a bad idea. Until I've checked the number of my neurocopy, nobody must know about me. Why is that number so important? Because I'm not sure of my authenticity. We don't know where my neurochip was before making its way to you. If I'm a duplicate, then I'll simply be arrested at the first registration. Well, all right. It's your call. So, let's check your number. Nothing on that front either. I found a list of the amusement park's employees, but for some reason, my name isn't on it. But I'm sure I used to work here. I need more particulars about the park, anything at all. My memories are fragmented and don't tell me anything. But you remembered something, yes? Tell me. Well, I remember that all kids would undergo a transfer after the show. I don't know why. Undergo a what? A mirror transfer. That's what the procedure of transferring consciousness into a mechanical body is called. Meaning, the kids would leave the Gubera Garden in M bodies. Strange, isn't it? Doing a transfer at an amusement park. Strange is the word. And another thing, their age. These kids were really young, around five, six at the most. What's odd about their age? They were way too young for a transfer. Little kids don't get their bodies replaced, but they did here for whatever reason. And I played some kind of role in it, only I don't remember what it was. Maybe you'll remember more once your sight is back. Maybe. If Tabaka makes good on his promise, and if there's a functioning look screen in the park. Tell me more about this device, the look screen. Do you mean its purpose? Yes. How does this screen provide sight? The look screen doesn't provide sight. Rather, it displays an image of eyes. I think it's used in a transfer somehow, but I don't recall exactly how. I'll try to remember while you're out. I'm on my way. Which pavilion should I look in? The second. And don't forget... Don't forget what? The box with the phytocopies. Help me understand something. What? Whose eyes are on your look screen? Mine. The same eyes I was born with. The same shape and proportions. Everything is stored in the genochip, my entire DNA. Got it. Did you bring what I asked? Help me understand something. What? Why is it illegal to transfer children? I'm not sure. I think that it has to do with their nervous system, its development. Doing a transfer before it's fully formed is dangerous. Got it. Did you bring what I asked? Help me understand something. What? You said these were five-year-old kids, right? I don't remember their exact age, but they looked no older than five, maybe six. And their new bodies, were they similarly small? No. Nobody even manufactured children's M bodies. There were only two standard models, adult and teenager. Children were transferred into teenage bodies. When leaving the Gerbera Garden, they looked around 15. Not the coziest garden imaginable. <laughs>